Professor Graham Fearon here from Baseball Wellington UK. Beside me is Coach Hannah. What we're doing is providing our students and the wider community with some online classes because currently we're locked down because of the COVID-19. So the age range today is Tiny Champs and Future Champs combined. So that's 3 to 6 and 7 to 12, all in the same class. So I hope you enjoy the class, guys. We've got three means of communication going on. We've got our YouTube channel, we've got our Facebook Live, and we've got our Zoom application where we're going to be interacting with our students live as we're doing the filming. So, hope you enjoy the class, guys. Let's get started. Okay, guys, let's get started. Ready for our warm up? Let's go. Star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back up, guys. Let's go. Star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one, guys. Let's go on our backs. Let's go. Chokes. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet on the floor, one foot on top of the knee, elbow to knee, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Try and those. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one, guys. Just warm the neck up now. So head over to the floor, chin to chest. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head side to side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bridges, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one, guys. So let's go. Ready for break falls. All together. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, stretch the bodies, guys. Big, big stretch. Ah, slowly sit up. One leg forward, one leg in, toes towards the head, reach forward, get a nice stretch down the hamstring there. And switch over. Feet together, gonna to bounce to five, four, three, two, one, and push out the knees there. That's it, use your elbows to help. And into the splits, just walking your hands forwards. And over to left hand side. 
And over to the right hand side. Nice one guys, knees together, wrap your arms around, your legs rolling down the spine. And then when you're ready, kick over, get a nice stretch down the neck and down the back. Awesome guys, well done. So if you need a quick drink, do that now. Any personal stretches, do them. And let's come back together, give you 20 seconds. So let's, uh, let's come around for our first technique. So our first technique is going to be on the floor, working guard bottom this week. So we'll work our self-defense in there as well. So come on around guys, so we're going to be in a similar position where we were the other day, okay, you know we've, uh, we've ended up here in the guard, alright, and then the person's going to try and punch us, so when the person tries to punch us now, just, just cover up, protect yourself, okay, you can even bring your knees, alright, to your chest, and you can break the posture as well here, okay, now I want to break the posture here, the person never wants to be there, right, so when the person doesn't want to be there, they want to try and get their posture back up. So sometimes they hold and then very quickly like let go. Alright, then they go much further back than they should be. And then from there, look, I'm going to put my feet to the hips now. Okay? And look, I'm going to go straight in to a nice technical stand-up. Okay, so I'm, I'm making a little bit of distance between me and my partner now. Feet on the hips, then one hand forward, one leg forward, push the person away, and then from there. We can start technical stand up, okay? To get nice safe, I can run, maybe I'm gonna control an opponent, whatever it's gonna be in your self defense. All right, guys, so a nice technical stand up from the closed guard, all right? So again, we're here, all right? The person tries to punch us, covering up, staying in the middle, but bringing knees to your chest and hug and break the posture here. Keep all the posture, wait for the person to try and push up. When they push up, push them away. And we're here, look, one hand up, one, so you can have two legs at the hips, then the person can't come forward, I can keep the partner back there, I can keep kicking them away, and then from there now, I can technical stand up, nice and safe, nice and quick. All right, guys, on three, one, two, three, let's go. All right, guys, so come around. Let's get ready for our next uh, next move. So this week, we're, we're working um, guard bottom, all right? But before I show you this next technique, I want to show, show you what I want you to do. Uh, I want to show what I want the partner to do on top first. All right, guys? So the partner's on top here, okay? We're looking for a leg drag, all right, guys? So I'm looking to pick on one of my opponent's legs and pull it across my body out of the way. Okay, so whichever leg it is, I'm pulling the leg across the body, all right, and I'm trying to come in here, all right, to a side control, securing the hips, all right, before I go to full side control. Okay, so try not to get too confused. All you really need to do is grab the leg on the outside and pull it across your body, and then drop onto the hips, right? Okay, so then I'm securing the hips and I've passed the guard. So that is a leg drag, okay? So just pulling the leg across your body and then coming down here into the hips. That's all really you need to know for leg drag, okay? But to, to, to give you the right energy for your opponent, but if you want to do the leg drag properly, the best way to do is to get the cross grip on the ankle, okay, warm and grab the knee. And then really pull and step your leg in really deep. And then from there, you can really sit heavy with the heavy knee, heavy on the hips, grab another lapel, securing the hips here, stopping the person from turning in. And then I can pivot around and secure side control. Okay, guys. So again, if you don't know quite what leg drag is, all it is is grabbing the leg and pulling it across your body and then sitting into the hips here, okay? But you guys are more advanced, look. Cross grip on the ankle, on the knee, pull. Step your knee deep. 
Okay, you see how I'm chopping through the leg as well? One, two, deep, lapel, and I actually, my weight goes that way, not this way, and I really sit and squash this bottom leg. Grab the lapel, elbow on top, and then I can pivot around with the hips all secure. Okay, guys, so if your partners, I want you to do five each as quick as you can. You ready? On your marks, get set, go! All right, guys, let's get ready for our next move. So now, our partner on top here is gonna leg drag. Okay, so Hannah goes for leg drag. Uh, just for the, for the uh, purpose of the video, just uh, do the leg drag on the other side. Okay, so she leg drags here. Okay, I'm already getting past now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna defend the leg drag. So as the leg drag comes over, what I'm going to do, before they get a grip on my lapel and start sinking away, I'm going to start making like a bar, like a frame here on the shoulder line across the chest. And as I do that, I circle my leg that's about to get squashed by this bottom leg. I, bet I quickly circle it so I get what I call an inside hook here. Can everyone see that? And the person's normally really aggressive trying to pull this leg, so it's very difficult to remove this one. Okay, but I'm going to use that against my opponent. So I keep this one over the hip, which my partner's pulled already, but I've, quick, I've quickly made a frame and looped my leg before it gets collapsed on here. Okay, I've made a frame, I kind of use my leg as a frame as well, and circle my little hook on the inside. Then as the partner keeps coming to try and press my guard, I'm here now, and I have like a, a strong position where now I can grab the leg here, the tr person tries to frame on me, I turn, my weight towards him this way. So I'm making a frame here and I'm grabbing the pants. From grabbing the pants, I can put my arm underneath the leg and actually lift the leg off the floor. Notice how my shin does not go through here. It stays underneath the person's hamstring, underneath the person's leg, and my foot is on the hip. Okay, and then I make this cool little sweep here. Very nice, okay? So you can see my shin is still in the same position, it's behind the leg, and my foot is over the hip. All right guys, and still got the, the foot on, uh, my, my arm underneath the foot here, stops the partner from getting up as well. And then from there, I can just climb over. Okay, still got my shin on the leg, and now you can see like almost like a shin on the belly, shin on the leg, and now I can sit through, okay, kicking my leg through, like a Kezi Kitani situation and also um, flick my leg through as well. Okay, still pinning the leg, and then come through into a nice side control. All right guys, so one more time. So we're here, let's go really slow, so the person starts to leg drag us. As they're leg dragging, if they're a little bit slow there, you can loop the leg now, but sometimes the leg drag's really fast, so you're gonna have to frame might have to frame out like this as well, like elevate on your elbow on your hand, and then circle your little hook back inside. The person's gonna crush normally, chasing you, that's good. Grab over the pants and then start dragging the leg towards you. From there, loop your hand around so it's underneath the, the ankle, and then make this like, like this little tray here underneath the hamstring. Okay, and you're still really strong with this leg over the hip. And from there, we're gonna boom, sweep them over. Okay, and then I can just come up onto my knee. Maybe go on the hook here, kick through, and control the elbow, and slide through. All right, guys. So, have some fun. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's do it.
just finalise really quick together, okay? Because we got some tiny champs and future champs, and we try and like uh, give everything uh, a technique for everyone, okay? So imagine now, you know, technical stand up. This is really good for all of us. All the techniques are really good for all of us. It's going over the good fundamentals that we should be already good at. So when we're here, you know. What we should be looking at is taking 5% of the class away. So only a little bit of the class. You don't have to remember everything, just a little bit. So this is really good now. Someone's attacking us, we've got us in the closed guard. Remember, we're holding nice and tight. When they try and get up here because they don't like it and they don't know jiu-jitsu, we push straight away. Technical stand, wrestle, wherever. Go and get some help, okay? That could be your 5% for today is doing a technical stand-up for when someone's trying to attack you from the closed guard. All right, guys? Then we learn how to do a leg drag properly, okay? Grabbing the leg, pulling it over, and then coming into the hips here. Again, this is a nice, simple way. If you're a junior grade or a tiny champ, just grab the leg, simple. Pull it over the other leg, sit into the hips. Perfect, easy, give the person a big hug. A little bit more advanced now, let's get more technical. Cross grip, knee, drag, deep knee, grab and lapel. Even when the person's here, it's very difficult to defend. If you're doing it right, getting a knee underneath my elbow, all my pressure, and then onto the hips. So we did a really, really good pass as well. And then from the pass, we did a counter into a sweep, into another pass. All right, guys, so now the person's leg dragging us, we're framing, we're basing, circling our leg on the inside, grabbing, pulling, underhooking, tabling this leg here, weight is sweeping them over, coming over into a little pass, and having really tricky, coming over into a better triangle. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. Did you like that feel? Yeah, you taught me that. All right, guys, so I hope everyone enjoyed the class. All right, we've got a couple of minutes left now. All right, so we're gonna do a drill, okay? We're gonna do a drill. So we've got one person on for one minute, and they're gonna do as many techniques as possible in that one minute, and then we're gonna switch, and you're gonna try and beat your partner. So look, for example, I'll go first. So my first technique will be in the closed guard. Okay, so I'm here, the person tries to punch me, a pull, hold, push, technical stand. My partner drops down for me, <coughs> and then leg drag, pass. Then we switch, they leg drag me, I frame, I on the hook, a pull, here, sweep, pass into side control, or if I'm super clever, maybe even my reverse. Triangle and then into Kamara. <laughs> That's what. So you have to do <laughs> technical stand, leg drag, and then the defense with a leg drag. That's what. All right, guys, you ready for the challenge? Hands up. One, two, three. <laughs> Number your... Amazing, guys. What a fantastic class. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember, guys, stay safe, stay connected, and I'll see you all tomorrow for some more great classes.